How you doing everybody? Today we're going to be working with and showing you how to set up your controller for a Jandy Zodiac JEPR controller if you have a Jandy variable speed cool pump. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hit your number one key or your star key, the menu, and the number four at the same time. Press and hold it. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see where it says priming. You can actually select your priming. Anytime you wanna enter into a selection, you go ahead and hit your menu button, that's the select button as well. So for the priming, the priming speed is when, how much speed the pump is pulling and it revolutions into priming. So we wanna go ahead and enter that. And we have a set here at 3200. If you want a little bit lower, you can go ahead and set that. We're gonna lower it down a bit. We're gonna lower it down to about 3,000. So you just hold the down arrow till we get to 3,000. Go ahead and press select to lock that in. And you wanna go up, prime and duration. It's typically set for about three minutes. We lowered ours down to two minutes. Let's go ahead and lock that in and it brings you back. Gonna press the uh, down arrow again. Okay, you wanna back out of that. Now go down, set it, e-star speed. This is the the number one speed. I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. And we've had our set for 2300. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna raise that up by pressing the up arrow key. And we're gonna raise it up to about 2400, 2450, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and press select. Now we're gonna press down again. Pump freeze protection. If you live in colder climates, you wanna go ahead and uh, enter into here and then you can set a duration time and scroll down 30 seconds pump type is where you go ahead and you're going to select between 600 and 3450 rpms and this is also going to affect your minimum and maximum uh, amount that your pump can actually put so go ahead and leave this at 600 to through 3450 power display units we like to see how much power our uh, pump is actually pulling so if you don't want to see that you can select no if you do want to see it select yes set minimum limit so here we set a minimum limit remember back on the screen before on selecting the pump type so we select a minimum of a thousand here you can go up or down or you can leave it the same we set it at a thousand since our pump is never going to be under a thousand anyway. And then select the maximum. See this pump is set at 2,830. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to raise that up. Because if we have any speeds within our set speeds of our schedule, and if it's above that, our pump will never reach that um, maximum that we set. So let's go ahead and we're going to raise this up to 3,450. Power protect max limit. No. Nope. Low defaults. Last fault. And that's about it. So go ahead and back out. You press your star key. And you're back out of that. That's basically setting up on the user side uh, the, for this uh, controller. Now to set your um, the schedule, you're gonna go ahead and select number one and press the menu button. Here is the time clock. Scroll down to the on time and we're gonna set it to where we have our set at 8.30 a.m. We're gonna go ahead and uh, leave that there, but to change that if it's at a different time, you scroll basically up or down until the p.m. that this, like let's say it's at 1 p.m. You want to lower it down to 8 a.m. Just hold the down arrow key until it reaches your desired start time. You go ahead and press enter to select that. Select down. In the off time, we have our set at 1.30. So that's given us roughly five hours of circulation. Uh, set at the uh, 24,450 RPMs. That. 
when you come down to your time clock and you want to set the label, if this is disabled, it's not going to run on that. You have to have it enabled. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to back out. Back out of that. We're going to turn that off. And we're going to select pump two, uh, selection two. We have it set for 3150. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. The same thing as the second schedule, our on time is at 1.30 p.m. That's where our last schedule uh, turned off at. You can't have them overlapping. So we're going to set ours at 1.30 p.m. Select enter. And if you want to change this for your schedule, uh, then you come back to your off time. Select that to 6.30. Roughly another five hours of circulation. So we're going to get 10 hours of circulation within this pool. Go ahead and select that. Press enter, time clock, and make sure it's enabled. Okay, so that basically is how you set up and program your time clock. You can uh, select these three and four are auxiliary speeds that you can basically come in and set time durations of runtime and the speeds for that. So we're going to go to one and show you how that's done. So we're going to back out of everything. I'm going to turn it off. So we're gonna hit the on uh, menu and hold it down. Okay, then you're gonna scroll over. Run duration, right here. Select, waterfall, select, and we have none. So we're gonna set it for 30 minutes of a run time. So whenever we select this, we're gonna select it for a run time of 30 minutes. Select. For the cleaner, I'm going to select this at an hour and a half of, of uh, run time. Uh, we'll just like two hours of run time for that one. I'm going to hit back, run duration. Here, if you want to put a password protect, you can do that as well. Set time. This is where you're going to go ahead and you're going to set your time of the day. You're going to go ahead and select it and so that your everything is on schedule. Scroll up or down to select the time of the day that it is. Label speeds. Here, if you wanted to change label the speeds, you can do that. Flow, the eight speed, the seven speed. And let's say if you wanted your three not to say waterfall and you want to say cleaner, you can go ahead and select into that. You can select your generals, or you can make a custom one right there. Put it back out. Display light, if you want to display light, time out of two minutes. Lights on or completely, lights off. So we'll set two minutes. Right back out. In the language, we have English, there's Netherlands, Italian, Dutch, France, Espanol, English. So we're going, we're going to select English. And that's about it. So to back out of that, you're gonna go ahead and hit your menu, start button, the start button to back out, start button to back out. So now that we have our time set and we have all our schedule set, and we have our run durations for these other two auxiliary times. So go ahead and press your E star. It's gonna be turning on. You'll see up here in the right hand corner that shows you that it's on schedule and your pump is priming as it shows there. It gives us the power wattages in the 15. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully we, we learned a little bit here. This is how to set up your controller for a JEPR. Again, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe to my page. Uh, we will, this. if you don't have this one and you actually want to upgrade, you can actually upgrade this uh, controller, the JEPR, to have it on your phone. Um, you can swap it off for the IQ Pump 01 and that you can actually run it off of your uh, phone and go through all the settings on that. But like a scratch from the face. Thanks for the next one.